Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again and I'm going to play as the Pursued because they've been broken for a little while but they are now fixed. So let's jump into a run and see what we can get going on. Is the Pursued just like hella fast? Or have, I, have I got Turbo Bird on? What's going on here? Oh god damn, she's just speedy as shit. Holy damn. Okay, let's go in here and uh, get, our, get our little starting stuff. See what we might get. The heart something, heart piece, I think that was. The ice ogre head, ooh, that's new. And the whistler, oh, the whistler's so insanely strong. Oh boy, this is a good run to start. Okay, okay. Yeah, I apologize that I missed the episode earlier this week. Um, Gungeon's kind of one of the series that I want to do twice a week, but if I only get it once a week, it's fine. I apologize if you guys missed it. It is here, do not fear. Um. Yeah, we're just going to jump in and do another run. Give it another gear and see how we do. A Robberos level is still at zero. Do I need to do something to increase it? So, Ice Ogre Head, very, very good sprite. Um, it also, like, blinks. Ooh. It's like an ice flamethrower. Isn't this, like, a cut content item? Also, why am I missing half a heart? Um, heart piece. Grants half a heart container. That's it. Okay. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, the Whistler is obscene. Basically, it has infinite bounces um, and really low damage. It just kind of bounces around the room like this and does its thing. You fire one pair of room and that's all you need. I'm just kind of wait this out now. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. If we can get some damage buffs with it, oh, uh, it does sometimes do what it just did there, though. Where, where it, like, kind of gets caught in a wall and just, like, dies. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is. We can probably pair this with this and do some good work. But I want to be using the Whistler whenever I can, really. Yeah, see, sometimes it stays going forever, sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's kind of odd that way. We do have the chance to uh, dodge shots. We also have the ability to go invisible um, and not be able to fire, but be able to get away from enemy shots with this character. Really, really fun character to play as, and getting the extra heart container to start is not bad at all for us here. Uh, honestly, let's just go and do the boss now, considering we've got the Whistler. I'm going to fire off, I think, four Whistler shots. One. Two. Three. And four. And then let's just carry on with this. And the, the Whistlers should do most of the damage, but then our pistol is kind of like supplementing it a little bit and doing a little bit extra here and there. I'd like to keep at least one uh, blank if I can. It's not a hard requirement though, do not worry. But yeah, Whistler's very, very fun. I've also installed a new mod that adds like a new shrine to the game that's seems interesting um that was created by bunny oh another animal we also got two keys out of that so we have two animal based weapons right now which is kind of funny um i think the bubble is okay it's not insanely good and it's it can be kind of hard to use at times but especially on controller when it's a little harder to aim but it's a fun weapon nonetheless it's a fun weapon um we'll give it a bit of usage here We've got a double tap. You can just tap to reload. So if, you, if, if you tap to reload, it does that. But if you spam reload, it fires them way faster. If you, like, absolutely spam the reload, they launch at, like, lightning speed. It's kind of hard to get it right. There you go. You see them, them ones then just go at, like, hyper speed. Why aren't you dying? How did the big guy die before you did? I'm just going to use the ammo on this thing first, just because it's a little less valuable. Probably better to use on the first floor. It's a little... It's, it's just kind of a little bit annoying to use. Can I do this? Nah. I was thinking maybe I could use my active and then reload. Um, so, like, be a little safer, but it doesn't work like that. Unfortunate, but understandable. Unfortunate, but completely understandable. But yeah, keys-wise, we're doing good. Um, 
I don't know if I want to go to the alt path or just open my chests here. We've got a blue chest. We do have that, which um, I'm, I'm not super interested in right now, I don't think. Okay, let's just set up some bubbles here for you to bash your head against. Good, good. Let's check out what's going on in the shop as well, because we can buy another key. We can get some table techs here. Table techs height, table tech stun. Another table tech there. Or we could just buy two keys. The two keys is certainly a little more appealing. But I, I kind of do like the idea of just buying a bunch of table techs. Okay, this is not the weapon for this area. Let's go with the ice erg, erg ahead. And, uh, I really like the way the projectiles look on the erg ahead. Look really nice. Really well done. I'm not sure what mod it's from, actually. Is it from Reload, maybe? From Reload. Nice. Okay. Reload's a new mod that doesn't add a ton yet, but is actively being worked on. Um, and it's my first thing that I've got from the Reload mod, I think. Very well done. It's nice. I, th I think the Ur Ice Urga Head is like a piece of cut content that's been re-added. I don't know if it's been sprited from scratch or if the sprites have been pulled from the game files. I have no idea. Um, okay, so we've got two blue chests. God damn it, it freezes so fast sometimes. I might... I might go to the Oubliette. I'm definitely going to open this, and we get... What the hell? Hail to you, three quick wishes. What the hell's this? It's like a moldy genie's lamp. Always grants wishes, but not in the way you'd expect. Intriguing. Um, Come back over here. Buy both the keys. And then, yeah, let's open both of our chests, then go to the Oubliette. We got the glass chamber, which is increased reload speed per one stone, I think. Reloading is 10% faster for every one stone. That's pretty decent. We can try and snack some one stones if plausible. We also got sticky crossbow, which is just fine. Um, then let's go through here. This has been a very successful first floor. I mean, I did give myself three items to start off, which helps. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm probably going to keep my Whistler for a little later on. Uh, I don't need to be using it that much early on. It is a good weapon to just fire off at the start of a room, though, so I might just, like, mix it in with other things. The Ice Ogre Head is going to be also kind of reserved for bigger enemies, I think, kind of like I did with the Gun Nut there. I don't think it's something that I want to be using every single room. Not really because it's limited ammo, just because it's more utility than anything else. Um, also, we want to try out this as well. So let's try out this and then get the Whistler going. So we'll pop off a Whistler shot here. Okay, so it, it it did it did what expect what I expected there. We're at thirty percent extra reload speed right now. Okay. Um, hmm. It's it's doing what I expect it to do right now, so I'm a bit confused. It fires a three round burst sort of. Yeah, it does. Fires a three-round burst. Intriguing, indeed. Hmm. Not quite sure what to think of it, really. Got another key for sale here, which I'm just going to buy. There could be an NPC, so that might be not be a great idea, but I've done it now, so... Tough taties. Good, we made it over easily. Whistler's a great thing for a room like this. Honestly, that room was piss. Wait, did I manage to line that up where you don't hit the spikes there? One minute, I just want to try and do that again. Haha! -ha! There's a very particular spot you can stand in to not trigger the spikes. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, we've got a chest here. That is flight. I do not mind it. Haven't had that item in a while. Yeah, I'm going to get two Whistlers off in this room. So, I don't really know the gimmick with this weapon right now. Because it seems just like a, a better version of the, um, of the Genie's Lamp right now. 
I'm not really sure. It said it grants wishes, but not in the way you'd expect. Does, is that just because it's a three round burst? Is that what I'm not meant to expect? I'm honestly not really sure. It's not super obvious to me right now. I, I, I feel like it's going to have some sort of curse or something where it's going to hit me at some point. Seems good so far, though, to me. Ooh, a black chest. Wasn't expecting that. And we get ourselves the laser chainsaw. Intriguing indeed. Okay. Tread everything in sight. Leave no witnesses. Hold the trigger until uh, all that's left is blood. Low range, high damage can stun enemies. Sounds like a blast, especially with flight. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay, this is, this is, this thing's amazing. So basically, it's like the lightsaber from Never Names mod, but, like, it does good damage. Kind of nice. It also, like, has that bleed effect, which is pretty awesome. I mean, it is a much higher tier than Never Names, so that makes sense. I think his is only B tier. It doesn't go through walls, which is good to know. I like the fact that it stuns as well. That makes it... That kind of pushes it over the edge. Also, it seems reasonably ammo efficient. One second. Okay, we are good to go. Let's carry on. I really like having flight. And also just all this move speed is just kind of awesome. Okay, now I do a little bit regret spending my money. Because the dark marker, I think, has some synergies with one of the things we have. What is it? Is it the Whistler? I think it might be the Whistler that it has a synergy with. I can't remember. Either way, it's just good in general. Bit of a shame that we miss out on that. So I don't know if we're going to use the laser chainsaw too much on the boss fight here. What I think I'm going to do is think I'm going to go with the Whistler and the Genie's Lamb. Again, we'll uh, fire off quite a few Whistler shots here before we start with anything else. I like to get at least three in the room, maybe four. So I'm just kind of watching to see if this thing does anything unexpected right now. It seems to be doing good damage. It definitely seems maybe a little bit less than the normal Genie Slam, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Seems interesting, at least. Double key drop again. Wow. The Blood Class Guanstone. An ancient glass blessing. Prevent... Uh, uh, pre perverted? Okay. Um... Crystallis split blood into glass. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I think that either when we get hit or when we heal, we get a glass one stone, maybe? Uh, which is really, really, really good with this, because we're going to get a lot of reload. We also got the messenger, which also seems intriguing. Have a little look. This is from Knife to a Gunfight. Trigger fire uh, fires on press and on release. A high action Kirch gun used by the personal messengers of the Gundromedon region in order to transfer parcels safely. Ooh, that's really cool. Amethyst. Doubles damage dealt by charged enemies. Doubles damage dealt by charged enemies. I'm not going to pick that up for now. Okay, we got 44. I think it was 46, unfortunately, for uh, for this. 47. Okay. Unfortunate. Um, maybe we can find a secret room. I'm kind of looking around, and I'm not seeing a great place for it, to be honest. Just take a glance and see if there's any cracks revealed already. Nah, let's just get going. But yeah, Messenger, I think I'm going to use this for a little bit. 
We got some good shit on this run. This run is mighty intriguing. I should have maybe grabbed the uh, the crest to go to the abbey, but the door was locked and I hate that. I'm not spending a key on that. Especially when the game's been so generous with keys right now. I want to open all my chests. I don't want to leave a single one unturned. But yeah, our reloads is just getting to the point of being great right now. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be like huge on damage really, but it's pretty decent. But also, have you noticed how the um, the shard thing here, the heart piece, literally means we actually can't fill up? Um, it, it literally has given us half a damage, half a heart container. We cannot fill up that heart fully, which is not what I expected, but rather intriguing. Oh, this thing! I love this. It's like this double shot. You can fire it slowly to do it like back to back like that. Or you can just press it once for a really fast two burst shot. And I really like that. It's also pretty darn ammo efficient so far too. We've got the arc tactical, which I'd honestly really, really like. Um, that's 78. Yeah, let's save up for that. The arc weapons are some of my favorite in general. But I, I'm not, is the Arc Tactical the Assault Rifle version? I don't know, I've, I've not used the Arc Tactical before, I don't think. Not that I can remember, at least. It even works the safe for later, that's interesting. Okay, that's one of the Champion versions, I imagine. I was like, oh damn, this thing's got such good reload, but then I'm realizing that we have like minus 40% to our reload right now. Our reloads are 40% quicker, should I say. So that's partially why this weapon is doing so well right now. Like the weapon itself, the damage is pretty good, but I was thinking, oh, the reload is pretty quick for a gun this good. But it's actually not. We just have synergies that are making it this good. And I like that a lot. We do have enough for the Ark now. This is um, Ghosty Room, right? Yeah. I'm just going to stand behind this for a hot minute. Good, good. Our chest, we've got Dynamite. Last one stone as well, which is nice. Crow's Glaive, I do not dislike it. Also, what on earth? Bowler's Briefcase and the Locked Bullets. Bowler's Briefcase sounds rather intriguing. I'm going to buy that. Long-term satisfaction. Bowler being a gentleman carries his briefcase everywhere. However, he loses it sometimes during his travels throughout the Gungeon. It's your job to return it safely to him, but he wouldn't notice if just a few chests were missing, right? Scribbled on the label of the briefcase is the following. One key equal brown, blue, or green. Two key, red or black. The writing below that is written in rainbow ink um, and smudged, but you can make out the number seven. So I'm going to imagine that that means if I get seven keys, I can open it up uh, and get a rainbow chest, which I'm going to try and do because it's an active. Okay. Interesting. Also, I haven't used my... Uh, my Laser uh, chainsaw in a little while, but honestly, got no need to. But yeah, more increased reload here. I'm very much liking how this is going with our reloads. Yeah, damn. We've also got a mini boss back there. That I want to try and take out. What shall I use in the mini boss? Whistler to start, and then I think over to the messenger. But the, uh, the Whistler itself is... No! I'm gonna blank here. I really want to keep my Guanstones. This thing's wrecking him. Yeah, I really want to keep my, uh, my Glass Guanstones here, and I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize that. Take that. Got a brown chest, which obviously isn't great, but some extra armor. And honestly, regular shotgun ain't bad. It ain't no messenger, but... I, I, I kind of forgot that I can just cheese the entire, like, premise of this, uh, this whole room. 
by just getting out of the way standing here. Um, Whistler again, I think. I didn't need a lot of ammo for it, but why not? Got a lot of weapons to work with here. I want to try and use the Ice Ogre a little bit more. Oh, I've got the wrong weapon selected as my secondary. There you go. It's good to use from a distance like that. Got another chest here, which we ain't getting access to anytime soon. Also got this guy. Ice Bomb. Ice Cube. Tear Jerker. Escape Rope. So I think at the minute we want to go... I definitely want that. And I'll definitely buy that. I think I'll destroy this chest. Ooh, this one's fully auto. Nice. Right. Um, boss time. Whistler again. And I think actually the Arc Tactical. The reload on this thing just makes it so good now. Honestly, I'm just going to pop quite a few of these. Normally, the reload would really put me off using it this, this many times. Also, let's uh, utilize this to... Kind of has this, like, interesting herming effect. Also as well, once you're up to this many glass one stones, you kind of get the extra effect of them actually deflecting bullets pretty often. And not deflecting, but blocking, should I say. Sadly, no keys. I'm really looking for keys here. Balloon gun is pretty good here. Honestly, let's hop down here and see what we can get, because we've got so much av availability to grab something good. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything good. We got a blank there, but I'm not going to buy anything from that shop, I don't think. I'm good, thanks. I'm going to try and get to a rainbow chest if I can, but it's it's going to take a little while. Just, just because we've got so much good stuff to cursed on right now that we might be able to do it. Um, it's, it's only a few floors remaining, though, so maybe not. I don't know. It's Seven is, is really rough. I suppose what I can do is, like, if I get to, I think it's four for a red or black chest, I can get to four and then just use it there, I guess. I, I, if, if the next shop sells two keys and the one after that sells two keys, then we're good, but it depends. Right, let's use this thing because it's going to slap. Eh, actually, it, does, it, it slaps a bit, but honestly, this thing's just way more fun and cool to look at. This is, uh, oh god damn, that kind of had a lot of health. This is probably the point where we want to be using our, um, our Whistler on a regular basis, I think. In fact, maybe we go with the Whistler and the Crow's Glaive. Oh, hello. Hexing rounds. I don't think I want to deal with Hex right now. Oh damn, we've got a bunch of money, uh, money pots in here. And we get ourselves the killer. This is the one that fires night, um, nitrous, isn't it? This one's pretty wacky. Terracotta pot can no longer heal, gain temporary shields each room. I'm gonna take that. I think at this point that's actually gonna be pretty good for us. Um, just because we've, like, got so many glass one stones and we're going to get more temporary shields, it's going to ke hopefully keep our glass one stones for longer. Try. Yeah, especially with the reload, the Krullers Clave might be the way to go. But yeah, with, with already having so many glass one stones and getting one per floor...
Seems like a good way to play it. here. Oh yeah, we got the stun as well. Nice. I want to use the laser chainsaw, but honestly, I'm on such a good streak of not getting hit right now that I, I don't want to jeopardize. Good. A stun stopping the big guy from being able to shoot. That's lovely. Back over this way. Bloody both of you went underground, you shits. Oh, totem boy. Probably not the best to use that weapon on, but there you go. These things will do a mini blank whenever they explode as well. Honestly, this is a room where I am content to just sit back and let it play out. Not with these guys about, I'm not. Chest is not really what we want right now. You see what I mean? We've got so many shields and then the glass one stones on top of that. It's playing out nicely. Hello. Nothing but the pea shooter. Go for it. Why not? That was close. I almost exploded myself there. At least we don't have to deal with the poison. Last one. Slightly annoying room, but nothing we can't handle. What do we get given passive item by the looks of it? Rolling eye. Ugh. It's whatever. It is what it is. Um, let's move back over to using balloon gun. Yeah, balloon gun's probably pretty good. And then whistler again. I want to find the shop to buy some keys. We've gotten to the point now where we have a ludicrous amount of shields from the Terracotta Pot. The Terracotta Pot is really, really good if you can go a long while without them breaking. Like, obviously you can see that they have a certain amount of health. There's another key. That's fantastic. Good. I see you over there, my good dude. Right. More table tech. Table tech blank is in the mix there. We got double keys here. Unfortunately, we're actually really bad on money at the moment, but we bought terracotta pot this floor, so that explains it. We'll just buy the key here. So let me just go and have a look at our values here. Um... Two keys for red or black. Only two keys for red or black. Wow, okay. We're already at three. So we could open it now for some immediate value. But I'm I'm willing to hold. I'm willing to stay strong. Unless we find like a black chest, I'm willing to stay strong. This room again? Go away. <laughs> Not doing it. Let's just crack this open. Boss time again. I think again we just like send out a hell of a lot of whistlers and maybe go with the messenger after that. By the way, does reload speed have diminishing returns? Because I'm not getting 10% every time here. On the on the side there at least. Oh, 
I'm probably going to lose a lot of shields in this fight. Right, we're good to go, and then... Thing is, the shields aren't going to roll over things like we can. There you go. Very nice. We'll probably want to take it for this. And we'll take that. Unfortunately, I'm not going to buy you. And I can't buy the other key, unfortunately, either. Right, let's keep it going. Um, Whistler and Messenger are a good combo, I think, right now. Messenger's just a lot of fun. It's a pretty basic shotgun, but it's got a slightly unique mechanic about it. And it just does good damage in general. It kind of feels like we have a damage bonus going on right now, but we don't. So, to get seven keys, we're going to need... It's going to be pretty rough, to be honest. We're going to need three this floor, and one on the last floor. Really. Realistically. So we're not going to get any on bullet hell, and it's rare to find more than one on the last floor. So, we'd have to get quite a few on this floor, which is... Eh, it's not super reasonable. I want to try it, though. I want to give it a go. Like I said, we just don't need extra chests right now. Unless they're, like, black, then I'll take them. But we've, we're showcasing a lot of cool shit, a lot of new shit right now, and just having a really good run in general, so... Um... One minute. I am back. Sorry, I just got shit up by a really loud noise because I didn't... Cause my girlfriend's in now, but I didn't realise she was in, so I kind of crapped myself for a hot minute. I was unaware that she'd come home from work, so I was like, oh fuck, what the hell's that loud noise? Right. Good. Oh god, that was a close hit. Also, I think I lose... Did I just lose all my shields, or do I lose my shields each floor? That might be the uh, explanation there. Like, I just disappear immediately. I think he did. But yeah, so... I get 10% pair glass one stone. Reload is 10% faster pair. Oh, okay, I know, no, I see what it means now, okay, that's my bad. So, I think... It's, it's not a flat 10%, it's 10% of your current reload speed. So the more glass one stones you get, the less, the less amount you get, sort of thing. Which is fair. It would be very, very powerful otherwise, or it could be very, very powerful otherwise, it wouldn't always be. Dude, are you actually fucking kidding me? Nah, I'm salty as fuck about that. Oh shit. Is it Guan? Guan. Stern. I was on like six, wasn't I? Yeah. I think I was on more than six, but I don't give a shit. That was bullshit. That enemy fucking put his little ghosty directly underneath me. No thank you. I'm not having that. I don't care if it's cheating. Bullshit. I don't- I can't remember, like, if this would have been a zero hit run without that or not. I'm not sure, like, how- how many times I've been hit before that. But that's just- that's just absolute arse cheeks. I'm not accepting it. Hella fragging little bollocks. Any enemy that can do, like, that can do that. And I'm sure one of you, and by one of you I mean definitely never named, is going to pause and be like, Actually, sir, you were just bad and you could have avoided it by just looking and watching. Wait, no, shush. Shush your little face. Bullshit is what it is. Shouldn't be able to happen. That enemy basically just fucking teleported directly underneath me.
God damn it. What I should have done is I should have fucking used my active. It would have got me out of that jam, but still. Mimic. Oh, I was like, it didn't drop a weapon, but I just realized it blended in really well. Right, um, I want to try and use something else now. Let's go with... Let's try and use the laser chainsaw a little more, maybe. Oh, God. Didn't realize what room I was getting into here. Maybe laser chainsaw isn't the best for this room. Yeah, we got him. Decent for these guys, I guess. Oh lord, this room is something else. I don't know, the laser chainsaw's good, but it's just I eat through my shield so quickly. Because I'm, I'm like too close. I think balloon gun and whistler is the way to go right now. Good, good. We need something that makes the Whistler fire more projectiles. Now that would be amazing. We got them all. Good, good, good. And this is a room that warrants multiple shots here. Now that time, I did actually get hit, but my goddamn Pursued ability saved me. Hey, there's that extra key I was hoping for. Oh god, those guys getting knocked around. Maybe the balloon gun isn't the best for us. We'll go back to the arc weapon. Oh god, there's a lot of these guys in here. Holy shit. Goddamn long room's got a key required. Get out of here. Yeah. At least this thing's got some light herming, so we don't have to worry too much about being super accurate. There's that other key. Okay, we only need two more keys. That's a good chest, but... We're so close. Okay, careful of the of deaths. Scythe boys. Two keys in here, please. Okay, one key. Sadly not what I wanted, but there you go. We also got Rocket Man's pretty fun, but I don't think we're gonna be able to afford it. The boss could give us a key as well, that'd be good. Oh, I didn't use my goddamn blank strategy. It's okay, though. We've uh, carved out a little path for ourselves here. Okay, this is not going the way that I wanted it to. We're just eating through all of my shields. Right. Um, need something a bit better for this. I'm going to go with a glaive, just because it pierces. Okay, everything else already died. What the hell? Wow, okay. You died quick. No key, goddammit. We're at six keys. Please, next floor, give us a key. Please give us a key. I have left so many chests unopened. I want one, and I want one now. Let's keep her going. This floor always takes forever to load for some reason, so we're, we're, we're in this for the long haul here. Go chill. Don't know why, but this floor's always an issue. 
some sort of special i think it's something to do with maybe the diamond room or something some sort of special room generation that's just having a bit of a tiff not really working correctly but there you go our stats have shown up now so it shouldn't be too bad Should, shouldn't be too far off right whistler again of course and then the glaive doesn't have a lot of ammo left so it's not the best idea but I do like it, so. Oh, we got a challenge room here. I'll take it. There's a chest we should actually be able to open here. Yeah, the stun's going to be good here. Better have a few more of these. Careful of those goddamn bubbles. Like that. One of them just got popped by my uh, Whistler bullet. Almost caused us a real problem. And we get the Enchisoning thing, which is actually probably pretty good because our um, our shields do mini blanks when they uh, when they perish. <laughs> oh, that's so funny! I was gonna fly over the gap so he couldn't get me, and he just ran straight into the goddamn pit. It's so funny. Ooh, okay, I think I need to take ammo for this. Okay, that was real bad. Where's my goddamn whistler bullets going? They're all just perishing straight away. Okay, now that enemy I did see. Get three out on this room. And continue on normally. Jammed enemy, no thank you. I managed to, I managed to like, stun that cube the literal moment it spawned. These are the best enemies to stun. Big enemies with, like, t attacks that take a bit to spool up. Good. Diamond room here. Always forget what's in this room. Is it just cultists? Yeah, it's just cultists. Good, good, good. Don't want the diamond for now, thank you. It is a stat upgrade, so I probably should just take it, but... Stuns are coming out. Good, good. It does take quite a lot of shots for the Crawler's Glaive to kill, but the stuns are just so valuable. Good. More ammo. Probably take it for the Whistler this time. I mean, bullets can't really hit me right now, I don't think. It's going to be a pretty difficult thing for them to do. Again, big enemy. The Glaive does a fantastic job there. But yeah, if, if I, I, I'm not 100% sure if I've been hit otherwise, other than that one bit of BS, but if that's the case, then pretty decent what I'm going to class as a no-hit run. few big enemies in here. They're about to run out of glaives. I'm just going to fire the last two so I remember it's out of ammo. And then... Da, 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 da. Go back to the messenger, I think. Come on. Give us that last key. You know you want to. Really, this attack? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Where's the shop at?
Yeah, this is where not having the stun's a bit upsetting. Because all these enemies are kind of annoying. Where are you, spider? There you are. Okay, it seems that my, my things aren't doing my, my cheese amulet effect, which is slightly strange and a bit annoying. Blanks have a chance. Okay, it says only a chance, so maybe we're just getting unlucky. Wow, that, that thing destroyed a ton of my shields there. Please stop. I need those. Stop! Hitting my shields. Extra armor, nice one. Okay, lovely. Where on earth is our shop? God damn the knockback on this thing. Blue chest. Shop maybe? Okay, key shop. A bit late for that, thank you. Yes, a key. Right. This better work. Yes! That's so cool. We got platinum boards, which is pretty good. Um, that's okay. Drill bullet sounds interesting. That's okay. Shelleton key, of course, is pretty good, but not amazing for us right now. Um, unicorn horn's great. Crisis stone's great. Composite gun's good. Uh, right, let's go. just go through and see what we got there. So... The drill bullets. Bullets gain, um... Bullets gain in damage. Bullets gain in damage the more they pierce. Okay, I see. I understand now. I can actually go and open this as long as it's not a mimic. The hell is this thing? A puncture wound. Fires vials of tarnishing liquid, making your first tarnished. Do not handle the vials without gloves or proper protective equipment. Uh, fires a short range shot that inflicts tarnish onto enemies. Tarnish slows enemies down, makes them pierceable by any projectile and increases the damage of any projectile that passes through them. I mean, that works pretty good with the drill bullets, I guess. So many weapons to choose from. Let's just go with that. This thing has a mighty large charger. Okay, we just gain uh, piercing on everything with the drill bullets. I thought we would. Right, okay, boss time. We go with the ice ogre for a bit of freezing. And go with the whistler, obviously, to start. Keep our face burst ready in case we need it. Reload stone with this is going to be pretty good. Quite a lot of invincibility. This guy we can probably put up. Oh, what the fuck? What happened then? He just instantly died. It's like a miscalculation with the Whistlers. Oh, we're going to lose all of our shields here, aren't we? Yeah, there must be like some sort of miscalculation with the Whistlers because they just insta-killed the heart too. Right. Let's do boss rush. Boss rush? No. Bullet hell. That's the one. I think the uh, ogre thing might be pretty good with drill bullets. So it just fires so many shots and it freezes. I'm going to try and use it as a, as a general room clear and see how it does. Oh, wait. Maybe the drill bullets with the whistler is really insane. Because it gains more damage the more it pierces, and it has infinite bounces, and so it can pierce multiple times, and then eventually it breaks DPS cap. 
That's probably what's happening. That is almost definitely what's happening. Okay. That's exciting. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, again, keep the Whisper as a secondary. And yeah, utilize this thing. God damn, this thing just fires so many projectiles. It, it's not terribly ammo efficient, which is a bit of a shame, but otherwise it's pretty good. Okay, it's not being quite as good as I was hoping. It'd be just because ammo is not great, but it's a fun weapon to use. I'll, de I'll damn well say that. Okay, um... Good. I could put ammo back in it. Probably want ammo in the Whistler though. 54. Or maybe the Crow's Glaive. Yeah, Crow's Glaive will be fun. Oh, there's another one of you, I see. Extra key there. We could use our... Br I didn't realise the briefcase was more use, I'll be honest. I'm surprised by that and kind of happy. This thing's doing good damage, damn. The reload stun. So good. Everything is stunned. Stunned too, please. Okay, I might as well just sit back and chill. Whistle bullets do their thing. Honestly, I need to be firing whistles more, because even just one of them eventually is going to stack to the point where it's going to insta-kill enemies. Yeah, this thing's nuts. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, look. It literally just insta-killed him. <laughs> oh, God, drill bullets with this is so broken. Okay, I like that. Red chest as well. What on earth are you? We've got a synergy with it. Not what the hell it is, though. Um, bosses drop an item on defeat. If there was a boss key for this... If only there was a boss key for this chest. Okay. And we've got a synergy with uh, fully unlocked. That's with Shelton key. Okay. Intriguing. I don't really know what to make of that. I don't need, the, the problem is I just don't need that at all. So I use the Crawler's Glaive to stun things and just let, um, let these do the rest. I love it when you stun them and they're just like sticking their arms up in the air, it's so funny. Seems to be some geometry in this room that is causing issues. Also, platinum bullets. I didn't really think about the fact that platinum bullets is affecting things. More ammo. I guess I'll just take it for that. You get a key here somewhere. I don't see where the key is. Over there. Go back in here and open this up, I guess. Not a weapon I'm needing to use right now, but there you go. Um, back to this and the crawlers. 
Wait, maybe the arc weapon would be really good with this setup. Where are you, arc weapon? There you are. It's very hard to select the weapon I want because it pierces and then, like, links to multiple enemies, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I should have tried this out a long time ago. Dude, this guy has, like, infinite HP. Goddamn. Also, the fire out with platinum bullets is so crazy. <laughs> oh. Wow, what a room. Yeah, it's got to be like a lot of enemies close by for it to work. But it works pretty well. Extra blank there, nice. This is a... Whistler room, I think. <laughs> it just gets to the point where they're just doing absurd damage. It's lovely. <laughs> just insta-killing everything. <clears throat> I want explodey boys here. The dog room, slime room. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was so satisfying. Get out of my face, you. Right, um... All the weapons that could be really broken with this. There's many. Guess just go with this for now. Got you two, good. Good, good, got you. It's been a very fun run. Did not see you there, my good sir. Thank God he died quick. Right, on to the boss path now. Just gotta pick the right direction. Oh, hello. Nice of you to stay alive. Damn it. I fucking got hit. God damn it. I made it so far without getting hit. It finally happened. I was really hoping this to be a flawless run, but that room looked it looked rough already. Already looked really rough and then I got a massive lag spike, so that didn't help. Dude, the game. Every time a room ends, it just lags like crazy. Can you stop? I got hit in this room anyway, so... Would have happened either way. Okay, finally found the boss. I just want to test something. Let's fire one Whistler shot and just see what happens. <laughs> nice. Oh, also a rainbow chest. Hello. Intriguing. Oh, wait. I, I picked up Mimic Bullets there. I don't want those. Oh, what the hell? He's glowing all blue. What's all the glowies? Um, I got a scatter shot, so that's going to make things intriguing. 
Okay, sc scatter shot and helix bullet don't seem to have done anything for this. Also, my shields. Okay, this guy is uh, doing some new stuff. He did eventually die there. Oh, ho, ho. our reload, our poor reload speed. I mean, it makes this gun pretty good for the invincibility that it gives with uh, Christ's reload stone, sorry, not Christ's stone. Why aren't you getting hit? I'm gonna drop helix bullets because I think it's messing with things. Real bullets, do your thing, please. What's going on here? Maybe it's because the walls are so far away? Oh, that's beautiful. There you go. We got him. We got him. Well, that was a wacky run. Really wacky. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was just fantastic. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.